Chapter 1 The Forgotten Curse in the Quiet Town of Everdale Nestled deep within the mist-covered forest Lay a forgotten curse that had plagued the residents for centuries Legends whispered of a sleeping beauty queen Trapped in eternal slumber Her dreams becoming nightmares that terrorized the town As the sun dipped below the horizon Casting long shadows across the ancient graveyard a young historian named Alexander Leafstead found himself drawn to the town's dark history. Armed with his dusty tome and a heart filled with curiosity, he ventured into the depths of the forest, seeking answers to the curse. The moonlight filtered through the towering trees, casting an eerie glow as Alexander arrived at the long-abandoned castle, its once grand facade crumbling under the weight of time. Unperturbed by the ominous silence, he stepped inside determined to uncover the truth behind the curse. His voice reverberated through the empty halls. Is anyone there? He called out, but only the sound of his own echoes answered him. As he wandered deeper into the castle, he stumbled upon a decrepit bed chamber. Goosebumps prickled his skin as he saw the lifeless figure of a woman lying there, her features frozen in peaceful slumber. Startled, Alexander reached out to touch her hand intending to confirm whether she was real or merely a figment of his imagination. But as his fingers brushed against her delicate skin, an ethereal voice whispered in his ear, You have awakened me from a curse that has long held me captive. Isabella smiled, her form fading gently into the ethereal realm. Our time together has come to an end, but the bonds we formed shall remain forever. Alexander gazed upon the queen pride swelling in his chest. You are the true hero, your highness. May peace reign over Everdale for all eternity. As the realm celebrated the triumph over the curse, Alexander Leafstead's name echoed throughout Everdale, forever engraving the tale of the awakening of the sleeping beauty queen in the annals of history. The queen's gaze flickered between Alexander and Isabella, a glimmer of gratitude dancing in her eyes. I am forever in your debt. How may I aid our quest? Recalling the ancient prophecy, Alexander spoke the words inscribed in his memory. There is a ritual spoken of in the texts. We must gather the mystical dewdrops that only bloom atop the tallest mountain, in the darkest forest, and within the deepest cavern. With these dewdrops, we shall perform the ritual to break the curse. The queen nodded solemnly, determination replacing her initial confusion. Then, we shall embark on this journey together. Let us bring an end to this curse that has plagued our realm. United by a common purpose, the trio set forth on their final quest, traversing treacherous landscapes and facing unimaginable perils. Together, they gathered the mystical dewdrops, their spirits growing stronger with each step. As they returned to the castle, the ancient ritual began. Alexander, Isabella, and the sleeping beauty queen joined hands their combined energies weaving a powerful spell. The air shimmered, a surge of magic enveloping the chamber. With a burst of light, the curse shattered, and the sleeping beauty queen stood before them, no longer bound by slumber. Tears of joy streamed down her face as she embraced her newfound freedom. Thank you, she said, her voice filled with warmth and gratitude. You have lifted the darkness that plagued our realm, and I shall forever be indebted to you both. Chapter 4, The Awakening Inside the Cursed Castle Alexander Leafstead and Isabella of Everdale stood before a grand, decrepit chamber. Cobwebs dangled from broken chandeliers, barely illuminating the room. The air crackled with an unsettling energy as they approached the dormant form of the sleeping beauty queen. Alexander's voice quivered, laced with determination. Isabella, we have come so far. We must not falter now. We hold the key to break this curse and awaken her. Isabella nodded, her ethereal form glowing softly. Together, we shall bring her back from the clutches of this dark slumber. They approached the sleeping queen, her beauty preserved despite the years of confinement. Alexander knelt beside her, placing a gentle hand on her cheek. Awaken, he whispered, his voice filled with urgency. The room reverberated with a low hum growing louder and more intense. The queen's eyelids fluttered, slowly revealing crystal blue eyes, filled with confusion and fear. Where am I? 
She murmured, her voice tinged with disorientation. You are in the castle of Everdale, your highness, Isabella replied, her voice full of reverence. You have been trapped in a deep slumber for centuries, bound by a curse. The queen's eyes widened in realization, an emotion of anguish crossing her delicate features. Centuries. I cannot fathom the depths of my imprisonment. Alexander spoke with determination, his voice carrying a tinge of empathy. Fear not, your highness, for we are here to break this curse and restore peace to Everdale. Keep moving, Alexander. Isabella urged, her voice steady amidst the turmoil. With a final burst of courage, they sprinted towards the other side. The bridge groaned but held, allowing them to land safely on solid ground. Their chests heaved with relief, and a smile tugged at the corners of their lips. But their respite was short-lived, for in the distance, they spied a labyrinth shrouded in darkness. Its looming walls seemed impenetrable, yet the voice of the prophecy echoed in their minds, urging them forward. Gritting their teeth, Alexander and Isabella braved the labyrinth's corridors, each twist and turn threatening to plunge them into eternal confusion. Isabella's voice pierced the silence once more. Do not let the shadows deceive you, Alexander. Trust in your instincts. As time passed, the labyrinth grew eerily quiet. Suddenly, a sinister laughter echoed through the corridors, sending shivers down their spines. Alexander pressed a hand against his chest, feeling the comforting weight of the pendant. We shall persevere, Isabella. We will find a way. Just as doubt threatened to consume them, they stumbled upon a hidden passage. A glimmer of hope sparked within their eyes, lighting their path forward. The trials of Everdale had tested their mettle, but their determination remained unwavering. Alexander and Isabella pressed on, knowing that their journey was far from over. Little did they know, the greatest challenge awaited them in the heart of the cursed castle. With their determination renewed, Alexander and Isabella set out to uncover the path they must tread, unaware of the trials that awaited them in the darkness. Chapter 3 the Trials of Everdale in the Depths of the Forest Alexander Leafstead and Isabella of Everdale embarked on a treacherous journey, led by the enigmatic prophecy. Their path was shrouded in mystery, the moon above casting a pale glow upon their determined faces. As they ventured deeper into the woods, the whispers of the shadows grew louder. The air crackled with an electric energy, and a faint humming sound filled the void. Isabella's voice cut through the tension. Alexander, we must be cautious. The trials ahead will test our resolve and strength. Alexander nodded earnestly, clutching the pendant around his neck a gift from his late grandmother, filled with love and protection. I will not let you down, Isabella. We shall overcome whatever challenges lie in our path. Their journey through the forest led them to an ancient river, its waters shimmering with an otherworldly glow. A bridge stretched across, but it seemed treacherously fragile, worn down by time. Their eyes met, silently communicating their shared determination. Together, they stepped onto the bridge, each careful step echoing in the quiet night. As they reached the middle, the bridge began to creak and sway, threatening to propel them into the depths below. Their hearts raced, their grip on each other tightening. Isabella's expression softened, a glimmer of hope flickering in her eyes. What does it say about the Chosen One, Alexander? How can we find them? Alexander scanned the passage, his finger tracing the faded words. The Chosen One shall bear a mark, a symbol linking them to the ancient magic of our realm. They will be led to us when the moon reaches its zenith, and the shadows whisper their name. But how will we know when they are near? Isabella asked, her tone filled with anticipation. Before Alexander could respond, the room darkened, as if an ominous cloud loomed above. The walls trembled, and strange symbols began to materialize on the floor, glowing with an otherworldly light. Alexander and Isabella exchanged a bewildered glance. A voice echoed through the chamber, its otherworldly timbre sending a chill down their spines. Alexander Leafstead, you are the chosen one, bound by destiny to save Everdale from its curse. Alexander's eyes widened, his heart pounding in his chest. Me? 
But how? The mark has chosen you, Alexander, Isabella whispered, reaching out to touch his arm. Now, we must prepare for the journey ahead. Our time is nigh. As the symbols on the floor faded away, marking the end of the message from the unknown voice, Alexander clenched his fists, determination fueling his resolve. We shall not falter, Isabella, he declared, his voice brimming with newfound confidence. Together, we shall break this curse and awaken the sleeping beauty queen. Shivers raced down his spine. Who are you? He stammered, his heart pounding in his chest. I am Isabella of Everdale, she replied, her voice tinged with sadness. And I beseech you, brave traveler, help me break this curse and bring peace to our town. Alexander hesitated, torn between the logical side of his mind and the lure of adventure. Poing his chest in a gesture of resolve, he declared, I shall do whatever it takes to lift the curse, Isabella. Together, we will awaken the sleeping beauty queen. As his words hung in the air, a glimmer of hope sparkled in the darkness, and the forgotten curse of Everdale began to unravel. Chapter 2 The Enigmatic Prophecy Inside the Castle's Aging Library Alexander Leafstead pored over dusty tomes, searching for any clues that might unveil the secrets of the curse. Isabella stood beside him, her ethereal form shimmering in the dim candlelight. I never imagined finding myself entangled in such dark magic, Alexander murmured, his voice laced with a mix of fear and determination. Sometimes, fate has a way of leading us to where we are needed the most, Isabella responded, her voice carrying a sense of resignation. As he flipped through the pages, Alexander's eyes widened when he stumbled upon a passage describing a long-forgotten prophecy. Listen, Isabella, he exclaimed, excitement tinging his tone. The prophecy speaks of a chosen one who possesses a heart pure and courageous, bound to break the curse and bring the sleeping beauty queen back to life.